Greetings everyone, I am now once again the proud owner of a Farfisa Compact um, electronic organ. Electronic transistorized organ as I like to have said. This dates from around about the mid to late 60s at a guess. Um, Ten years ago I did own this, it was given to me by a friend. Uh, who was given to him by a mutual friend who bought it for $20 from a little second hand shop. Now, um, I got it back after 10 years from the friend that I gave it to um, as he's moving overseas. I originally gave it to him because at the time I didn't know anything about keyboards and I got sick of lugging it around every time I moved and at that point I was moving a lot. So I'm pretty happy to get it back. It had been previously serviced to a certain extent and uh, oh, let me just turn it on and you know, have a quick listen. I'm just going to swap hands because I can't play with my left. <laughs> So it sounds alright, but unfortunately the all the C sharp keys are doing that. Not so prevalent on the upper one, but I discovered it when I was testing the um, bass keys. They play. Turn them on. Listen to that. That's not too bad. So um, I've got to do something about that. Anyway, let's take the lid off and have a look inside just for laughs, eh? Wowie zowie, look at all that crap in there. Now, um, nicely loomed, well, to a certain extent, but, you know, this is before the days of integrated circuits, or at least, you know, integrated circuits going to domestic equipment. Um, looks like all these cards here, let me actually put my finger... Yeah, see all these cards here. There's a row there, a row of cards there, a row of cards there for each individual note. That looks to be in really decent condition. But one thing I did notice: yucky old capacitor, a bunch of yucky old um, electrolytics, and I'm sure there's quite a few more down there somewhere. So this is going to be quite a bit of a task trying to pull it apart. Oh yeah, look at that chunky old transformer, and I think from memory there's the valve preamp and reverb driver in, in this box, but don't quote me on that. It's been a very, very, very long time since I opened this thing up. Like I said, I hadn't owned, had this thing for the last 10 years, and as of yesterday, it's mine again. So, um, has a bit of work to do. As with anything I have, I suppose, old electronics, you know, needs a bit of work to do, but it keeps me busy and is relatively fun and I get a better understanding of how things work and I like that because I've never really worked on an electronic organ before at least one of this vintage so um yeah those capacitors have got to go all right I got the thing outside under the veranda where there's more light I've got it pulled apart um short-term memory loss um sort of dictates um I may have showed you this part before but here it is the preamp and the reverb driver it's got a pair of Philips Miniwatt ECC 83's which is the British equivalent of the 12AX7 got two of those some rather old and crusty caps well, this is the impressive part look at all that each of these, one, two, three, let me move that camera again, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Each of those cards is for one note of the octave and it's all divided down. That's pretty much how these old, um, well, electronic organs work. Not really sure what these three boards are for, but I'll look into that. Um, I'm going to pull each of these cards out and write down the values of all the electrolytics so I can um, buy them. There's two whopping great big cans over here that I have no idea what they're for. Right there, right there, yeah. I might check the underside of this to sort of see what's been done there. Let's see if I need to buy any parts for the power supply. As you can tell I'm breathing relatively heavily because this thing ain't light. Um, could really do with a hand here. But, as I've only got two, there's my left, my right is holding the camera. I'm going to have to make do with what I've got. So be it. Anyway, see where this leads us, eh? 
One thing I did fail to mention, um, each of these oscillators has got its own little um, ferrite slug tuned um, inductor. Now that affects the tuning. I um, actually did sort out the issue with the, um, where is it? The C sharp key. But um, obviously when I replace all the electrolytics, uh, I'll have to do that again. But yeah, anyway, enough for me for now. So I replaced the capacitors in here, so you can see these two big red jobbies and they're replaced with two smaller black ones. Now these red ones were 16 mics but I didn't have any 16 mic capacitors. Replaced them with 22, slightly better filtering. The, what was it, a, a one mic is replaced with a, you know, it was one mic 50 volts, this one's uh, one mic 100 volts. It's a polyester non-polarized and that one there which was a 25 mic is replaced with the 47 close enough it's only a cathode bypass capacitor so i don't think it's going to make much difference if anything it's probably going to let out a bit more base but you know that's a good thing i suppose we'll soon see i suppose sod it anyway uh, on to the next bit one thing i did fail to mention i replaced the death cap now this i call it the death cap a lot of people call it the death cap this was going from mains to the chassis um, the last thing you want is for this thing to short out and make the chassis live doesn't really serve much of a purpose these days so I've gotten rid of it uh, it may actually still be good so I might use this in something maybe we'll see